So there's my credentials for when people come on here and they want to tell me how uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't understand. I do. I understand perfectly all of those things. And I'm telling you right now, I didn't see half of what I see now because of quasi luminous. Now, I have sent him pictures and he paid me for them. And he put his blood up. I put my blood up beside him. Because you know what? He's the only one who understood when I went on there. And, you know, I know he probably knew I was freaking out. Because when I found out everything, and I had worked so hard, you guys. I had four children. I was on disability. But I still went to college. And you're allowed to do that. But I'm telling you. It was hard because I saw things that you shouldn't have to see. And I saw people and kids going through things they shouldn't have to go through. And you know what I saw mostly was poverty and drug abuse. Now, one drives the other. It, it really does. And people say, well, no, it's, it's because they're depressed. Well, why are they depressed? Because they have no hope. That's why. I tell parents... You know what? Make sure you have food, water, shelter, and worship for your children. And talk to them. And talk to them often. And talk to them about the clergy. And talk to them about the people at school. You know? And and throw a fit over things when it goes wrong. You should. you got to protect your children. And somebody has to protect the parents. And this is what's not getting done. See, it's a war on poor people. It's never been a war on drugs, and it's never been a war on poverty. It is a war on poor people. And who produces the poor people? Well, who do you think? Yeah, there's always been enough for everybody. There's always been enough technology to fix everything. But they don't want it that way, see, because then they can't do what they've been doing, which is enslaving a whole human race, you know? And they're so busy fighting. They got everybody twisted on goddess worship, god worship, the stars, alien. Uh, the alien prophet cried. <laughs> I don't know. It is religion osity yeah religiosity that's what i'm going to call it it's ridiculous it's it's ridiculous anything that hurts another human being is not a god or a goddess do you understand i'm just a parent and i'm here to tell you that if this is a god everybody better run because I don't think so. These people that are saying that this is a God, they're going to face the supreme architect. They're going to face the intelligent designer. See, I believe I have a mother and a father. That son and this earth is the beginning of time. Father, son, mother, earth, and the stars above us. And that was it. And those stars are probably lights in the sky. Yeah, like a terrarium, something. I don't know. I know there are aliens under us. And what I mean by that, I mean, there's beings that we don't know of that are under us. And that's why NASA is taking all the money over there. Hey, Cody, how are you? So Cody said hi. Hey, Cody. He's working. He's finding tools. Hey, Cody, I'm, bu I'm building a dashboard for my hot rod from real fucking wood. <laughs> <laughs> I should play that song, The Wizard Walks By. <laughs> yeah, you heard that? That's on uh, Black Sabbath's first album. It's called The Wizard. It's called, I know Cody Tony's heard that album. It's called Black Sabbath. The album's called Black Sabbath. So I've, I've challenged people to come on here. And tell me I'm wrong. And you know, not one person yet can say, oh, well, this is wrong or that's wrong. They know I'm right. I know I am. 
Yeah. And you know what? They are going to suffer their own dirty spells. <laughs> yeah. You are what you eat. No. <laughs> the other white meat. Yes. I believe so. To roast them here while live streaming. That means the demiurge is present. <laughs> yeah. That's what live streaming backwards says. Demiurge. And uh, every time I go on here and I tell the truth, something happens. And you know what? I had somebody come on here the other day that said, I watched you for a while because I thought you were crazy. And I'm like, I don't care why you watched me. <laughs> as long as you watched me and it did something for you, I'm glad. I don't care what you think because, you know, everybody thinks things are messed up because they are. But when you come to the truth, it's so strange. It's so hard to believe that, you know, I understand most people not wanting to hear it, you know. And I think for a while he probably left and then he came back when he found out something else, you know, that maybe that was uh, the reason he thought I was crazy was because of what he'd been taught, not because of what I was saying, you know, because I don't want to lead anybody wrong. I believe in the goddess and I believe in that sun. That's the things that I can see. And as for God, I called on God and you know what? She answered me and she said, never was it I. And I never could figure out why she said that to me until uh, a reversal. And the reversal is never was it I. God is a woman. And I should have known that whether it was a man or a woman, this wasn't a God. A God wouldn't do the things that are being done. You know? Because, like, not even a human being, a decent human being, would do the things that have been done. Oh, we worship you too, Cody. Yeah, I've been doing fast three days on, and then like two or three days on, and then three days on, and... Yeah, yeah. go you, eat. You should be hallucinating by now. What the hell? See, Wizard can't do that, but he his thyroids burn out. He has to. I went to the doctor one time and they gave me x rays that were unnecessary. They didn't wrap my neck because they wanted to charge my insurance company money. So I got three CAT scans in a row. Needless to say, I have no fucking thyroid, but, but I don't mind eating. I like food, especially. I, especially food. I cook I cook for him all the time. Even if I'm fasting, I cook for him because you know he's gotta eat. He's gotta eat a lot more than me. He's gotta eat more than like it keeps me healthy. I have to eat it and it goes in one and it comes up the other. He's gotta eat a lot more He lives to the day that we don't have to eat anymore and we can just run and have fun and be young again. I can still run, I can chase chickens. You know what? Can you imagine? Can you imagine what it could have been with the salt water being turned into fresh water? The hemp being grown, people getting well, cannabis. Oh my God. Okay, let's talk about the filthy lucre since everybody's so worried about that. Guess who holds a patent on the CBD, which is going to be billions? The U.S. government. Yeah, the very ones that made it illegal, are now going to hold the patent on the weeds. And you know what? Forget it. It's a done deal. It's over. But the crying. You guys need to pack your stuff and leave while you can. Because when the masses find out how the CIA has been actually having people commit suicide through subliminal messages and things in the internet and on TV and how they torture people and how they do experiments on people. Oh, man, can you imagine? There's going to be some people who are going to go after them. And you know what? They're, they, it's their fault. They had a choice and they decided that 
you know, they wanted what they wanted no matter what. And this is what you get when you're like that and you don't care about anybody else. It, it'll come back to you, you know. That's, that's it. There is no other way around it. And they'll have only their selves to blame. Because even they were offered this, weren't they? That's right. You know what? You know why they wouldn't take it? Because it's the other side of the dirty dealings they've been doing. That's why. And you know, the brotherhood, I'll give a shout out to you too. <laughs> Fuck you, brotherhood. Rejuvenate me. Do you need my address? Bitch, I think you already got it. You know why? You know why I offend you so much? Because of the truth. Right? The Jesuit extreme oath. Oh, y'all are so brave. Ripping the babies out of the women's womb, right? Oh, yeah. You're some, you're some really brave men, aren't you? You know what? You guys better run. I'm telling you right now. I have told the goddess, and she listens to everything that you say. Here, on here, and off of here. So, if you would like to bash yourself against me some more, come on. And you know what? You're the one that should be running. You're the one that should be scared. Because the things that you have done are written. They're written. And it's too late. And, and whether you believed in it or not, there is a higher power. And if you think that that higher power would have wanted this, oh, and what did you do in their name? What did you do in your creator's name? Mm, molest some children, kill some people, steal all their stuff. Look at it. Look at it. It's, it's sick. I've never seen anything that sick. I have to show you my cat. He's, he's, he's trying to nose into, you see that? The center? That's the center of the flat earth plane is on my cat, even. See that? Like the, he's got the map of Mount Maroon. That's the center of the flat earth plane. Anyway, so then I saw another thing that it was saying that, uh, there's no way we can stop this or whatever. And I'm like, where is that coming from? Uh, what are you talking about? We've already done it. Oh, no, we haven't went anywhere. We haven't done it. Oh, yeah, but we've done it. You, you don't even understand. It's already a done deal. I told you it's all over but the crime. They they should be packing their bags and leaving. But they're too dumb or they're too uh, greedy. I think that's what it is. They're so greedy, they want to stick around and make sure they milk it for everything they can. Like that cow, you know, they got to milk it for everything that they can. Because they don't know how to do anything. They haven't been taught. And you guys have to do everything for them. That's why they're in the position they're in. That's never a good thing, to not be self-sufficient, you know. And they're going to find out about that self-sufficiency. So, now, let's look at where all of the NASA money's gone, since we know now that it hasn't went out in the space, and it's all a lie. Well, if you watch that one program I had, and I've seen these drill bits. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Going by on the trucks are huge, big drill bits. Okay, so they're drilling into uh, the underworld. Yeah. Does that remind you of the Lord of the Rings? And they dug too deep in the mines of Moria. Did you remember that? Yeah. Does that remind you of the Lord of the Rings? Anyways, so what I'm saying is uh, you don't have to worry about them. But I would worry about your friends, knowing the truth. And it's kind of hard and it's embarrassing sometimes. Like, I know, they think you're going crazy or whatever. It's been really hard for me because, you know, my son passed away. And uh, he had been to the Boy Scouts, yeah. And his troop was caught up in this uh, child molestation, too. So they said, well, you just lost your mind because you lost your kid. And I'm like, no, I, I lost my mind a lot long before that. When I found out I was in hell and raising kids, now. You want, you want panic set in? That set panic in for me. It did. It really did. And, uh. If it hadn't been for blood over intent, I don't know what I would have done. 